welcome to my final video of the year. Today we're on the Jack Sucks Life subreddit and we're going to have a look back at the top posts of the year. This is actually a series I do every single Tuesday on my second channel. So go subscribe to that. It's just hit one mil. Oh, most upvoted post. PewDiePie doesn't care about Jack getting his play button. I forgot that was this year. In January, I uploaded how I got PewDiePie's 100 million play button, which you saw at the beginning of this video. And we ended the year by sending Mr. Beast's 100 million play button into space. 2022 really has been the year of the Red Diamond play button on the Jack Sucks at Life channel. But yeah, let's take a look at PewDiePie's very boring reaction to me having English this. English YouTuber called Jack Sucks at Life bought both the 100 mil play button and the box finally reunited them together. Yeah, so apparently and then he skips through it. this, which, you know, he could have hang on to it a little longer. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect him to keep it forever, but I think it's fair enough. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, so if you don't know, PewDiePie gave it to one of his subscribers called Lizard Lava, and then Lizard Lava then sold the play button to me. Side note, I wasn't bothered about buying it. I wanted to just borrow it because I thought it'd be a fun video. But then when he said, do you want to buy it? I was like, well, if I don't buy it, someone else is going to buy it. I mean, I'm the play button guy around here, so I'm going to have to buy it, aren't I? But it did make sense for Lizard Lava to sell the award because he used the money that I gave him to put a deposit down on a house, which is like a really life-changing thing. But since this clip right here, PewDiePie has since said he's completely cool with Lizard selling. It. About 100% of people live in the circle. <laughs> I can't believe this has so many upvotes. 2022 was also the year for the Jack Sucks of Geography channel. At the start of this year, this channel had like 300,000 subscribers, and since then, it just absolutely popped off. Jack Sucks of Geography is now my highest viewed and highest earning channel out of all of them. So I never expected it, but I really love the videos, and they're way easier to record than the stuff for this channel, too. <laughs> Wi Fi drops down by one bar. Third Boy 420 turns into Jack Sucks at Live. Hey, that's the Hey! <laughs> That's rude! Why would you say something like that? Although, you know what, to be fair, Turd Boy's Turd Boy, don't blame you. I think Mr. Beast is trying to tell you something, Jack. So, this is an old Mr. Beast Instagram story. I wonder how many play buttons I'll have when I claim all of these. Yeah, so 11 months ago, he hadn't claimed all the play buttons for his international channels yet. And thanks to this video Chandler sent me, we can now see all of his play buttons. Very, very nice. There's the red mill. At this point in time, it had not yet been into space, but it now has, and I even sent it back to them a couple of days ago. So, hopefully, I'll be back on the wall very soon. I met Jack in Tesco, but didn't have a pen for an autograph, so he wrote it in the notes. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this one wasn't true, is it? <laughs> I mean, that would have been incredible, though. Weirdly, Tesco is where I get recognized the most. <laughs> I'm always just there looking at me beans with me bags for life. You have no idea how many bags for life have featured in photos with subscribers. <laughs> oh, no, not this again. Just as I finally got over it. Hey, Jack, your biggest hamster fan, Fleming, sadly passed away this evening. He will be remembered as the most viewed Danish hamster ever. I totally remember you, Fleming. I definitely know what this person's talking about and um, have a memory of Fleming. Who's Fleming, guys? Was Fleming featured on the channel at some point? Either way, though, sorry that you died, Fleming. Jack, after sending back the fake 100 million play button instead of the real one. <laughs> so this was 11 months ago, so they were talking about PewDiePie's 100 million play button. So this must have been back when I was only going to borrow it rather than keep it. But I like how this meme applies better to the Mr. Beast award because I do have a fake 100 million play button that we manufactured back in 2021. At that point in time, I thought I would never ever touch a real 100 million play button, so the closest I could get was this. But obviously since then, I've gotten two. <laughs> Every time I think of it, it's like, how is that a thing? That is just ridiculous. But yeah, I'm probably going to give that away at some point. Next year, one of my plans for videos is to kind of distribute some of the awards because I feel like I'm kind of holding them. I don't really need them all. We've kind of completed the collection at this point. Everything else we're doing now, like the emoji play button, it's just a bit of extra fun. And also, while I'm on the subject of videos for next year, I'll keep up with the play button videos, but I also want to experiment with some new stuff because I want to always keep evolving, you know? I don't want anything to get too repetitive. So expect some different different kind of videos. I'm sure that they won't get as many views to begin with, but I want to try some different things. So if there's anything you want to see me do, let me know in the comments. 2022 was also the year that I finally got a Reddit award for 100,000 followers. He did have an antenna, but it fell off and that's not where it went, guys. But yes, as I said at the beginning, I do this Reddit series every single week over on my second channel. So go subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Gonna prank Jack when he makes a pop-up pirate video. Hey, I made one, didn't I? People always say, Jack, you never keep to any of your promises. Well, I kept to this one and I really went for it. Ahoy there, me hearties, tis I, Jack Sucks and pop a Pirate. Nicky and I put way too much effort into it. <laughs> But yeah, that was the last upload on Jack Sucks Above a Pirate. I promised many years ago that every time the channel gains 100k subscribers, I would do another video. And you can see it took you guys two years to get another 100k because obviously I never promote it. I don't want to make another Pop-Up Pirate video. But yeah, I'll be interested to see how long it'll take before we get to 300k. Giving 750 pounds to charity. <laughs> 
I'm all right, thanks. Spending $200 on some socks with flags on? Yes, please. <laughs> this is in relation to a geography video I did where I bought all kinds of socks that had flags on. And some of those socks now feature on my Jack Sucks at Geography U2s. Ooh. <laughs> but also speaking of socks, behind the U2s, you will see my framed Guinness World Records sock that features in the Guinness Book of World Records 2023. And it even features in our Reddit banner background. Becky's wearing them. But anyway, I made a promise that I was going to try and beat a sock-related Guinness World Record. And I have not forgotten about that. Next year, we're going to beat a load of Guinness World Records. Because if you don't know, I concluded that it's time to retire my main Guinness World Record for most YouTube channels with over 100,000 subscribers owned by an individual. Mainly because as I'm expanding, I'm hiring more and more people. So for example, the Jack Sucks Eclipse channel, I don't do any of the uploads for it. It was done by a guy called George, now it's done by a guy called Arian. So that means that I don't really qualify for the individual part of the record anymore. So since that's now retired, I want to move on to some new record titles. And 2023, I want to get like loads of them. It's going to be very exciting. And as well as getting myself Guinness World Records next year, there is already a new episode of I Got Insert Big YouTuber Here, a Guinness World Record. So I've got a couple of records confirmed, but I want to get loads more. But that video will be out early next year as well. $100,000 from Mr. Beast or £74,159.50 from Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah, so after the Don't Subscribe Challenge ended, Mr. Beast owed me $100,000, but it got converted into pounds when it was sent to my English bank account. So this was slightly less cool looking, but also I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> it's kind of crazy when you think that I've now completed two Mr. Beast challenges over the last, what, three years? Because it was mid-2020 when I was given the first Don't Subscribe Challenge. Now at the end of 2022, we've done the space video. So what's next for me and Mr. Beast? It's kind of crazy to think that even though Jimmy has let me borrow one of his trusted possessions and also literally given me $100,000, but we've never met, we've never even spoke on a call. So what I'd love to do would be a tour of the studio and a tour of the play buttons, obviously. But, you know, you've got to wait for the opportunity to be invited. <laughs> Reacting to my old YouTube setups, comparing my old YouTube setups. Oh my God, 2022 was also the year of the comparison videos. Woo! -hoo -hoo! My most successful videos of the year were not when I got Mr. Beast and PewDiePie's 100 million play buttons. They were these absolute monstrosities. How rare are you? What is your rarest skill? The rarest creepy sightings. How rare is your body? <laughs> look at the views! 4.6 million! Basically, I started doing these reaction videos where I just look at these stupid stats. So it says like 83% of people can roll their tongue. And then, of course, I tried to roll my tongue. It took about 10 minutes to record each episode. And that's my most viewed series of the entire year across every single channel. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, we had a tournament on the subreddit this year. So 9,900 people played. The first one was eight months ago, and it was who will reach 700,000 subscribers first? Jack Sucks at Geography or Jack Sucks at Stuff? At this point in time, Jack Sucks at Stuff was in the lead, but it's been stuck on like 600k for most of the year. It was only until we started doing those stupid comparison videos that I started gaining subscribers again. But anyway, Jack Sucks at Geography won, and then we upgraded to who will reach 1 million subscribers first. And once again, Jack Sucks at Geography won. <laughs> in fact, at the time of recording, because I'm recording a couple of weeks in advance for Christmas, Jack Sucks' stuff still isn't at 1 million. So my little plug at the beginning of this video where I was like, it recently hit a million. It'll be really embarrassing if we haven't actually hit a million yet. <coughs> oh god. I think I forgot something. If you forgot that it wasn't important, yeah, you're right. Spending 24 hours in my Tesla and I've still not done it. I think I promised this video would be coming out on my Tesla channel two years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> I might still do it. We are kind of winding down on the Tesla channel a little bit. Just because we've literally made Tesla videos for three years now and there's kind of only a finite number of new things that you can try or new accessories you can take a look at but I am still very proud of this channel everything that it's achieved it gave Becky the opportunity to edit and she now does the main channel videos apart from this one which is edited by Kai and it allowed us to earn the money that I paid for the Tesla by making videos about a Tesla which was a kind of cool personal achievement you know what I mean I found this on Twitter Jack what do you think so this is a gold play button but it only says 100k subscribers YouTube I think you sent me the wrong color how weird is that how did they get that wrong? And why has it never happened to me? Jack in 2019, I just blew up 200 hackers and trapped them in a box. Jack in 2022, YouTube dislike me. <laughs> I mean, the glory days of Minecraft Hacker Troll, and it was more like 2016 to 2018. And I am really proud of those videos. Like, occasionally they pop up in my recommended, and I give them a little watch. They're entertaining. I enjoyed that series a lot. But of course, I did like 200 episodes of this Minecraft series. So it was just time for me to move on, and time for us to move on from Minecraft in general. I'm getting a new PC, so I want to try a bit 
bit more gaming content over on Jack Sucks and stuff next year. So maybe we could splash Minecraft in for old time's sake. It'd be interesting to see how many of you have been watching since the trolling days. This is brilliant. No context, Jack Sucks at life. But I like this. Jack Sucks at context. Yeah, this was one of the new channels that were launched this year. Daily clips from my videos with absolutely no context, such as this one. All right, you. You ready? What about you? Okay, cool. Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really promoted this channel on Jack Sucks Alive before, but yeah, the videos are every day and they're really weird if you want to go watch them. But anyway, people were annoyed that I didn't call it Jack Sucks at Context. But it was because that's harder to search for, whereas no context Jack Sucks at Life might be stumbled upon by people typing in Jack Sucks at Life. You know what I mean? Oh, that was also this year. We hit a billion views. I got an award. Yay, look at that. One billion total upload views. About 12 years of work to get here. Meanwhile, Mr. Beast got a billion total upload views on his main channel just this month. But hey, it's not a competition. <laughs> I'm very proud of this. Very grateful. This has definitely been our best year on YouTube by a lot. I'm pretty sure like of this billion views, half of them were probably in the last 12 months, which is crazy to think about. Oh, we hit 2 million subscribers at the start of the year, didn't we? There I am celebrating. Look at me cute little face. <laughs> that means we've gained 610,000 in one year, which I am pretty happy with, considering obviously we slowed down on the uploads a lot in order to just create kind of much more high quality stuff. But if we're going by every YouTube channel, the figure this year is probably more like two and a half million. So, <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Thank you very much. Diamond play button. Jack, this is worthless. <laughs> that used to be the coolest thing we owned. It used to sit proudly on top of my play button tower. But then the red diamond play buttons came in. Literally ten times cooler. So for a while, the diamond play button was used as a doorstop. May as well do something useful with it. But in 2023, I want to maybe do some swaps, some trades, see if we can use it to get something cooler. That's a concept I've got anyway. YouTubers who still have the 2006 play button. Jack. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot about the 2006 play button. That's this fella right here if you don't know it. Maybe the play button collection is not complete after all because we haven't got the very first one. It's the rarest. There's only about 27 of them in the world. But yeah, they were given out at a YouTube awards show way back in 2006. About six or seven years before the OG gold play button was even conceptualized which is kind of mad to think about. It would be amazing to borrow one at some point, wouldn't it? And I think that's probably possible. Who wants to subscribe to Jack Sucks at Espanol. Yay! I think we launched that channel this year as well. I'm not sure. I kind of lose track. Who speaks Spanish? <laughs> yep, one of the biggest mistakes I ever made on YouTube was promoting this channel to my English audience. Yes, we got to 100k. Yes, it meant we got another play button. But none of the videos get recommended to Spanish speakers because all my English speakers click on them and then leave after 10 seconds because I'm speaking Spanish and they don't speak Spanish. Why did I tell my English speaking subscribers about this channel? I doomed it from day one. <laughs> Leaked images of Jack talking to YouTube in 2022. Hey, no. <laughs> this was 11 months ago when YouTube still were not a fan of me at all. But since then, it seems like me and YouTube are kind of friends again. Sometimes they reply to my tweets. They've posted quite a few comments on some videos. And very exciting, I've started working with Society Awards on a, a secret project. So that will be out next year as well. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, by the way, because you don't want to miss any of this stuff that's coming up. My geography teacher, let's play video. My class, yay, me. Wait, Jack, what are you doing here? I bet that was so weird for you, and it is also very, very weird for me. As if one of my geography videos was just played in a classroom. It kind of makes us cringe a bit because I know that my videos are not for everyone. So maybe there's like some students in the audience like making fun of me, making little snide remarks. And I'm just there laughing away, blissfully unaware that I'm being taunted by these stupid little children. Oh God. When I saw this thumbnail, I thought it was the Willy Warmer. <laughs> God. I'm moving on, I'm moving on. Jack in 2034. Can I name all stars in the observable universe? This is because on my geography channel, I do a lot of challenges where I'm like trying to name every country, trying to name every flag, trying to name every country upside down, trying to learn all the capital cities, which by the way, not yet managed to learn all the capital cities. I think I got through two continents out of seven. So I suppose that's a project for 2023 now. That's where he was. Mr. B said, I spent last week in Antarctica without signal. What did I miss? So that is why we didn't get an instant response from Jimmy about me sending his play button into space. He was literally in bloody Antarctica without any signal. But if you haven't seen what Jimmy thought about the video yet, this is what he said to me on Twitter. It was great. Appreciate you. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> now you might be thinking, Jack, you literally spent three months of your life working out how to send a very heavy object into space and all he said was, it was great. <laughs> but that is an excited message from Mr. Beast because that guy's a chilled out fella. It takes a lot to impress him these days when he's done literally anything that is possible. We got an exclamation point. We got a heart. That means he loved it. <laughs> Jack's we 
wee bush. Stop talking about Jack's wee wee bush. Kong's wee wee bush. Oh yeah, 2022 was also the day that my dog weed on me when I picked him up. It was my fault. He had started weeing and I didn't realise, so when I picked him up, he just continued to wee all over my leg. It was, it was not ideal, to be honest. Oh, happy seven years. Yeah, it was also Becky and I's seventh anniversary at the start of this year. I love all these pictures she picked out. So yeah, next month, it'll be our eight-year anniversary, which is just crazy. I can't believe how fast the time's gone. Jack really milking this series. Oh god, this isn't a good sign. This was 11 months ago, and you said I was milking the series. I still do another episode every month. <laughs> Jack, it's the 200th episode, so I want good posts. Me, I am a Kong bus. I cannot believe the Kong bus has just made it onto the main channel. <laughs> Jack, Accidentally paying for another month of GeoGuessr unintentionally leads to me learning every single country and their flags and also now leads to me having another channel with a million subscribers. Jack Sucks at Geography was just a joke to begin with. It was just meant to be a bit of fun. Can't believe how big the channel's got. That's just mental. Oh, this one's embarrassing. Guys, it's confirmed Jack can't read. This was at the start of the year. First thing I did when I unboxed PewDiePie's play button. Pretty big moment. And what did I do? Let me zoom in for you. And there it is. PewDiePie, congratulations on passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh, I said 100,000 instead of 100 million. How did I manage that, Jack? Why? When I unboxed Mr. Beast, I was so, so careful that I read everything right because of this. I literally had like PTSD about it. Oh, there we are with our 200 million play buttons. <laughs> Amazing picture. Oh yeah, we also got onto Indian TV this year. <laughs> Yeah, I've still never been on English TV, but I've randomly popped up on Indian and Russian TV channels. <laughs> Maybe that could be a goal for next year. Try and get on English TV. There's definitely a good video there. Jack after wasting hundreds of dollars on Jack Success Espanol, but he might get a Spanish play button. It's more like thousands of dollars, but we did get a Spanish play button. Was it worth it? No. Jack on his way to Guinness World Records after he makes a new channel. <laughs> this is from the Will and E video, which was also this year. That was a really cool collab, actually. Because obviously I'd watched Will and E for a long time, so to be in one of his videos, very nice. Met Jack today, so wholesome and quite tall. Also got a cheeky autograph from him and Becky. Yes, it was lovely to meet you. It is a shame that both of my nipples are visible. <laughs> oh god, yeah, Kai on stage with Green Day in front of 73,000 people last night. Yeah, this was bad. Editor Kai, who edits for Jackson's and stuff and Jackson's and geography, on screen with Green Day. It. What an amazing opportunity. Look at the little fella on the big screen. That's epic. This year, Dream also did his face reveal and the Guinness World Record that we got him, which was also this year, forgot about that, features in the background. So that was pretty epic for me. That record there that's been seen by 43 million people now was literally sat on this sofa. I literally gave it a wipe with some glass cleaner that I got for like one pound at Tesco. Isn't that so weird to think about? Oh, excellent. What a lovely post to end on. Here's a little picture I took during an RE lesson about 14 years ago. All right, I'm lying. It wasn't 14 years ago. It was probably more like 11 years ago. I was 15 then, all right? I wasn't 12. Leave me alone, all right? Thank you very much for watching this Reddit video. Remember, if you want to see more of these on a regular basis, go subscribe to my second channel. Thank you so much for all of the support this year across every single YouTube channel. I really, really do appreciate it. The team's really expanded this year as well, so I can't mention everyone, but I do really appreciate everybody that's been working on videos. Obviously, without everyone, it wouldn't be possible to upload as much as I do. So thanks so much for that. Hope you all had a nice Christmas and have a nice new year. See you later.